All right, so here is a second law problem that is not as clear-cut as some of the ones that we did earlier. There are a couple forces involved. So anytime that's the case, we usually want to draw a diagram. So we have a crate, so we're going to draw a crate, and we're going to draw all the forces acting on it. So the crate has a mass of 40 kilograms, so right away we know there's a weight, and that weight is going to be 400 newtons, because again, uh, 40 kilograms times g, which is 10, that tells us the weight. Now this is sitting on the ground, so again, if it's sitting on the ground, it's not falling through the ground, it's not accelerating in an elevator, then there is an equal force pushing up of 400 newtons. So those are going to basically cancel. They're not really going to play a role in this problem, but we'll draw them anyway. It's pushed to the right with a force of 200 newtons. So I'll draw that, 200 newtons, and then friction exerts a force of 80 newtons on it. That's going to try to slow it down, so that's 80. I really should have been better with my arrows since these weights are 400. They really should be longer than the 200, but that's good practice, but ultimately it would just do better in the next time. But either way, uh, the net force then, the net force on this crate, F net, the upward and downward forces cancel each other, so it's really just a matter of the 80 and the 200. It's going to be a net force of 120 newtons to the right. So earlier when we said that the equation F equals MA, that wasn't entirely true. The correct formula would be F net equals M times A. So before, we didn't have a um, multiple forces, so the net force just equaled um, the force of what we were pushing it. So in this case, um, the net force is 120 newtons, the mass is 40 kilograms, and we're looking for A, so we're just dividing both sides by 40, and we're getting A is 3 meters per second squared to the right because that is the direction of the net force. So this crate is going to pick up speed at a rate of 3 meters per second every second as it's being pushed to the right. All right, next problem, um, similar situation. So I have an object on the ground. doesn't matter what it is. We'll just draw a box. It's on the ground. And we're exerting a force of 70 newtons. So it doesn't say what direction, so I'm just going to assume it's to the right, and we're pushing with a force of 70 newtons. Uh, but I actually skipped a step here. Oh, it didn't tell us the mass. So we know there's a weight. We don't know what it is. Uh, we know there's an upward force. We don't know what that is because we weren't given the mass. But we can be pretty confident they cancel because, again, this is resting on the ground. Friction exerts a force of 25 newtons, again, in the opposite direction of the motion. So, hey, the net force is uh, the difference between 70 and 25, which will be 45 newtons to the right. And according to this, it is accelerating at 2 meters per second squared. So the net force is 45. The mass is unknown. The acceleration is 2. So we're solving for m. So we're going to divide both sides by 2. So the mass is 22.5 kilograms uh, of this box. Now, if we want, we can finish this. We now know the weight would be 225 newtons, and this would be 225 newtons, but it's not ultimately going to change our answer. Uh, all we want to do is find the mass. So these are very much like the other F equals MA problems. It's just now we have to do a little bit more work to find the net force. We, can't, we weren't just given it uh, initially. So that's about it. So until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.